Do you sense an attempt to break your front in terms of organized labor? Um, well, I cannot pinpoint to anybody trying to break the front of organizing labor in any way. What I know is when issues happen and we need to come together and discuss and have a common front, we do that. Um, I don't know what is holding people back at this point in time, but um, what we need to talk about as trustees and as unions within the various sectors where these pension funds are going to be affected per what has been announced, I think we have been saying it and we'll keep on talking about it because we know it is not going to be the best for the ordinary worker who is making these contributions towards his or her pensions. Attorney General issued a statement, issued a, in fact, a legal opinion on the ongoing brohaha. What do you make of that? I think it is very clear. He has given a very uh, clear view on the issues that were raised by the ministry for him to respond to it and has given us a better understanding of the legal implications of the actions if they should go forward with um, what they have um, thrown out in the public domain. For us, it is not even about voluntary come and take it or don't take it or whatever. The point is, in Purchasing those bonds, we got into some contractual agreement with government to allow those bonds to run over a certain period to their maturity for us to earn whatever returns on those bonds for the workers. So if at this time you want to change it, what we are saying is that we don't agree. And if we don't agree, we don't agree, we don't accept it. If you apply haircuts to the tier two funds, you are applying it to individuals. Every single individual has an independent pension. Everybody has independent account that at any material moment in time you can even check and know how much is in your account and all that government should find other alternative means of reviving the economy and that no circumstance should they touch pension funds we will not agree